studies on two-piece zirconia implant scars. We have examined one of this few, the few systems, um, uh, the few two-piece systems at the University of Geneva in this prospective clinical study, and we had a clinical survival rate of 87% after one year. Four implants at different time points had uh, presented with sudden mobility, unaccompanied by any pain or discomfort. And you can see the healthy peri-implant tissues around these implants. The implants were unscrewed, the sites curated, and healing was uneventful. If we go back to the systematic review we performed at the university, you'll f and we include the two-piece uh, implant systems that were available uh, at the time, we'll found an, we found an over overall survival rate of both one and two-piece implants to be at 93% after one year. Two uh, other systematic reviews have been published since. The first reported 91.5% survival after up to six years uh, in function. They, however, this study only included four um, clinical studies examining two-piece implant systems, but these two-piece implants had a 93% survival rate. The second review had a clinical survival of 96% after one year, but this one only included one study with two-piece implants. So you can see the clinical studies on these two-piece uh, implants are very scarce. And all the available studies that we have at the moment are in cemented systems. Manufacturers, however, have been trying to uh, develop two-piece screw retained zirconia systems. And we had recently started a case series at the University of Geneva examining a two-piece alumina toughened zirconia implant that has a carbon fiber reinforced peak screw uh, for retention of the abutment and the crown. As you can see, uh, the size of the, uh, um, of the, abut uh, of the screw head sorry, uh, is 3.3 millimeters, which was quite limiting for anterior restorations or even smaller lower premolars. So, a different uh, system has been developed to improve on, on the limitations of the previous system. This system uh, consists of a it's a two-piece implant and abutment that are um, uh, made out of alumina toughened zirconia. So they have high flexural strength and fracture toughness, and you can uh, modify the abutment extra orally. They have a surface that's hydrophilic, sandblasted, and acid-etched that has been, all, uh, has been proven to osseointegrate. Two different uh, insertion depths, and it's a tapered design implant, so it has high primary stability and a greater distribution of occlusal forces ad, uh, to the adjacent bone when compared to cylindrical implants, and you have a reduced risk of perforation. It also has an, an inner um, uh, connection with four interlocks that prevent abutment rotation, and uh, those interlocks are unloaded, so you do not have the problem with um, with the brittleness of the material. And finally, the screw is uh, smaller at 2.8 millimeters, and when tightened, this screw confirms to the contours of the internal thread of the implant.